All right, welcome back to the road show. This morning in the buzz, we have been talking a lot about gift giving for the holidays, giving you some great advice about, you know, what to buy for mom, dad, cousins, babysitters, whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. But have you ever been caught in one of those awkward situations where someone has a gift for you? Yeah, and you just don't have one for them. Okay? <laughs> That's bad. What about tipping? How much do you tip? Who do you tip? Well, it's happened to most of us at least once where we have these questions, especially during this economy where people are trying to cut back. You know, it's funny that we're doing that buzz today because I had some time yesterday. I actually sat down and made a list of all the things that I have left to do, mm -hmm. including, you know, who to buy for. And I saw some question marks about how much do you tip the mailman, the milkman? Right. Like, I don't know. And are they extra friendly? I don't think you can really say one amount. Yes. Because let's say you right. don't have a great mailman or right. let's say you have an exceptional one mm -hmm. you know you probably want to do maybe you know them a little better maybe they you know I don't, I don't know what they do they might do you an extra favor or something mm -hmm. like that here and there um, my actually my mailman helped me look for my lost cat see so, so there I you think go. So they, they a couple extra still bottles hasn't been way. found but you oh. know but he did his he did his thing like mm -hmm. he actually helped me hand out some flyers too because I was see, going so around the neighborhood so that should get him up on the, the tip mm -hmm. list this year yes. what about have you ever been in one of those situations where someone's like Crystal Merry Christmas and you're like oh um, of I course nothing. I have. Yeah. And I used to do this thing that'd be, oh, I left your gift at home. Yeah. Right. You know, that. Yeah. Right. I have one for you. I'll yeah. Bring it tomorrow. At home. But now I'm just, I'm really sorry. You know, uh, I didn't know we were exchanging gifts. And yeah. Completely mm -hmm. honest. I think if you're completely honest, and people are okay, you know what? A lot of people will actually say, in all honesty, they don't mind. Yeah. Right. They like giving more they than they like getting. Mm -hmm. You know? They so if you're completely honest and you mm -hmm. say, oh my God. You know, but thank you so much for the gift. I think in almost, in some ways, it's like a free pass. And I think it's such a great idea, too, if you're doing uh, a, a secret Santa or yeah. just, anyway, if you just say, you know, between friends, hey, we're going to exchange gifts this year Absolutely. to set a limit. Mm. Because then, if you don't, it becomes this whole, we're exchanging gifts. Um, okay. Yeah. And then you try and second guess. Are they going to get me some a lot, a little, or yeah. do I? Or and then maybe you get two gifts. And you're like, okay, well, if they give me one thing, I'll give them this. Or if they give me something that's a little more, I'll give them that one. So I, I don't know. You get stuck in. You can get weird, into trouble. Yes. Awkward situations. And then what do you say too? I gotta tell you. You said you know I wasn't sure that you know I didn't know that we were exchanging yes. gifts. I, I don't I don't know. Honesty is always the best. And, and, and if you are doing one with a set amount, follow it. I did a uh, one of those like Yankee swaps when mm -hmm. I was a kid one time. <laughs> I think it was a ten dollar limit. And one of the girls who got me, you know what she did? She took a project we had done in Girl Scouts and jazzed it up a little more and <laughs> gave it to me as a gift. So clearly it cost her nothing. And I was like Zero opening it up dollars. and I was like, this hat that we just made last week in our meeting, that's what you're giving me? Like, like I, I was mad. That, so I know what this is from. You can't even get away with right. that. Right. And everybody in the room, that one off. it was like this. Crickets. Yeah. <laughs> Crickets. You know? Now, who do you, I mean, what about the, all those, like, um, you know, the extra people in your life that yeah. we were talking about the other day, but who, like, who do you tip? Who do you feel like you should tip? Like, a hairdresser, do you tip them more, or do you, like we said, the mailman, the milkman? I think the it milk completely man. depends on the person. Yeah, like, I think you're right. Um... I mean, I'm not someone that gets is like gets my hair done every six weeks. Mm -hmm. I kind of just float around. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I mean, if I'm around there during the holidays, I'll a absolutely throw a little extra. Mm -hmm. um, I'd rather tip more than feel bad about it later. Yeah. So I yeah. feel like that's the safest way to go. Generosity is always good. You don't feel mm -hmm. bad about being generous. Exactly. You know, feel bad about being cheap after you're like, ooh, yeah. I should have probably given Maybe a little I bit more. You, you know? go back. Yeah. You're like, ah, oh, I meant to give you this. Yeah. <laughs> that's so awkward. <laughs> Here's the other thing. Word of advice. Buy a couple of extra gift cards. Just yeah. have just them in your purse. In yeah. Just in case, because then you're never going to be in trouble, because you can be like, oh, here you go. Exactly. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Courtney, what's your policy on I making sure that doesn't happen? I was thinking about that. that you, you're going to leave them blank? Wouldn't that be weird? <laughs> <laughs> be like, no, you, you just write, happy holidays, right. and your name, yes. and then you're covered. Tell them to hold on yeah. a second while you <laughs> write out a little note out of your purse. Um, I haven't had any awkward situations yet, so I'm going to knock on wood, you know, hopefully this year will will be the same. Christmas has always been fun for me, but uh, we do have some awkward stories from viewers um, on our website, mostly on Facebook, so we'll check on that in a minute. This one's from Jean, and she said, I don't like Secret Santa gifts. Somebody always spends too much and makes everyone else look and feel silly. And Smokey Wolf said, last year a friend gave me a present, and I didn't have anything for her. I was so embarrassed, she said. So here's our poll today. We're asking everyone, what's the most awkward gift-giving situation? A, getting a gift with no gift to give back. B, not leaving a tip for a holiday service. Or C, receiving an inappropriate gift. That's always an interesting one. So those are your three to choose from. 
Here's a look at our Facebook page. Kevin Oliver said, I went to a Christmas party seven years ago, several years ago, and as someone's guest, didn't really know the host who had a gift for me. That was awkward. And Amanda said, I have never had this happen, but I know people that have. For this reason, my Christmas party this year includes a Yankee swap, so no one feels awkward or left out. And Carmen Wiggins says it shouldn't be awkward. That isn't what Christmas is about. If someone gives a gift, it should be of the heart, not based on the perception that the action will be reciprocated. So if you guys have any more stories, want to vote in the poll, do so. We'll have that up to the end of the show. We're going to go back into the kitchen now. Danielle, what are you working on?